the general consensus amongst clubs is that some type of golf is better than no golf. So while they'll have to follow a list of several demands from the government, it's a step closer towards getting people back on the course. I think that what's happened is we've been starved out for so long now that I think that um, I think we're just grateful to be able to get outside. Manitou Golf and Country Club are one of the courses already prepping for May 5th. In total, there's 18 different steps that are in place for operations to continue. And we always obviously have to socially distance even on the course. So you can only play golf with one person from outside your own household we still need to socially distance. One of the first things listed under the guidelines is to maintain a log of all customers that use the course. Keeping track of who comes and goes will be simpler for private clubs like Manitou. It makes us a lot easier and more uniquely positioned to be able to follow those guidelines. I think it's a lot easier for us than it's going to be for some of the guys at the other courses. But when you take a look at the county and city courses, that process may prove a bit more difficult because they're open to the general public. I had a chance to speak with Doug Chase, who oversees county courses like Hangman and Qualchin. He told me that him and some of the other club pros were spending these 24 hours after Inslee's press conference to come up with a plan on how to abide by the guidelines. Over in Idaho, they're following a completely different set of rules, so their courses have been open for the majority of this outbreak. But obviously with the courses in Washington closing down, a lot of that traffic kind of flowed over this direction. Some of the rules they have in place are similar to Washington. Flags and pins have to remain in the cup and bunker rakes have been removed. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely, you know, a lot different than normal years. With new guidelines in Washington, only two people are allowed to play together at a time, with the exception being a group of four people who are in the same immediate family. From Spokane, Brandon Jones, Crim 2 News.